Festivity auditions are a journey to discover a new star in a way that is fair to all who participate. Not gonna lie, I wanna taste this strawberry flavored soul glad. It's really nice. Disqualified for what exactly? <laughs> me of the grand occasion when Pentacone was first established. I was still a young, bright-eyed lad back then, lured here by the watchmaker's ads, full of zeal and ready to make my first fortune in life. But once, during a particularly grueling day, I passed out and was resuscitated by a drink from Mr. Susa. That sweet face has since been etched in my mind. And that was what drove me to create the soul glad that we all know and love today. The dream chasing era was truly a wondrous time. Oh, I miss those days and the watchmaker. Scorchstand Hall is my homage to that time of boundless possibilities. I wholeheartedly hope you make it to the finish and emerge as the next superstars of Pentacle. Now then. Is there anything you'd like to say before the competition officially begins? No, we're not going to stop him. Can we get the ball rolling already? I ain't got all day. Rest assured, we're gonna take an L in this second field. Um, you know what? Fine. Silly enough. Let's go. Alright, I missed the seriousness of the statement, but it's okay. Miss March, how about you? Hello, everyone! Next up, get ready for the Mega March 7th Adventure, where I'm going to break the speedrun world record! Trailblazing into the uncharted and challenging the limits. That's Miss March done for you. How about Miss Fire? I hope that by the end of this journey, Everyone will have achieved the outcome that they hope for. Ah, uh, a wonderful wish! Miss Himmel, what are you expecting from your team? Safety first, everyone. Yes, ma'am! <laughs> Simple words, but full of war. Waiting for you are three stages, each connected to that era. The first two stages offer two distinct paths to choose from with unique challenges on each round. And in the last stage, you will face off against a champion who has defended the title to this very day. A beloved contender whose noble virtues are unrivaled. Okay. Those are the rules. Simple. Everyone clear? Now, I hereby announce that the 33rd Scorch Sand Festival of the 20th season, sponsored by Soul Glad Enterprises, has started. Everyone, as the Charmony Festival is drawing closer, we must reach the end as quickly as possible. Factoring in efficiency and safety, splitting up into two groups is the best choice. March and I haven't known Miss Firefly for too long, and I'm totally familiar with her. It'd probably be better if the two of you paired up. Okay. Fine by me. Let's do it. All right. I don't have a problem with that. Now, chit chat. Let's do this. Say what now? I get to pair up with Firefly, and there's no catch. I'll be a shoe in with me around. Hold up. Has any of you even bothered to ask me for my consent to this? Nah, I'm fine with Firefly. We'll split into the assigned groups then. Let's not waste time. Okay. We'll talk with Boss Red after the story. Welcome to the first stage of Soul Glad Enterprises 33rd Scorch Sand Festival of the 20th season. Dream Play Fantasia! In this stage, you can choose between two challenges. The school of acting or school of action. 
Can we do both? In the school acting challenge, you have to complete three performances from three scripts and move the panel judges. In the school of action challenge, you have to defeat three groups of enemies convincingly and reach the end. Now, make your choice. Wait, how do I choose? Hey, we're in a huge pinball machine. Oh! Oh! oh. Hey, this is nice. Click the button on the tracks and select the challenge you need to go to. Wait. Which one means I don't know what these mean though. Which one is acting and which one is fighting? Ah, okay. Acting challenge. Action challenge. I'm curious, what is the acting challenge? Okay, now Chris, can we go back? This animation is really nice, though. Ooh. Alright, let's do... Oh! Oh! We can't do... Uh, that is sad. Okay, let's see what that thing does. to introduce the rules of this challenge to you. There are three stages up ahead. On each, you will find an outline of a script. These three scripts were written by the legendary filmmaker, The Watchmaker, and depict various stories from Pinnacoli's era of pioneering. Your task is to bring those moments to life, find the right words, and act convincingly to make the judges feel the script's intended emotions. Oh, I wish you a successful performance. Also, a bit of trivia. The record score for this stage is held by a participant with fiery red hair. His exceptional performance brought even the strictest judge to tears. Like he wasn't even acting at all. Oh no, it's the night of beauty, isn't it? <laughs> we are running out of time, so let's get this over with quickly. Okay. You two, are you ready? Hit me. Envision that you both, driven by the spirit of exploration, are arriving at the land of dreams that is Panacone for the first time. But instead of lush lands, you find yourselves amidst swirling sands and desolation, far from the paradise the watchmaker described. You're driving an old clunker through the wilderness of the dreamscape, braving the cold wind, choking on the dust. And suddenly, a fierce memory zone meme blocks your path. Now, Mr. Greyhair, what line would you deliver to express your disappointment in Pentagoni? Great, I love living on the wild side. A brutish creature. Quick, let's run it over. What incarnation is this hell? The watchmaker is a big fat liar. Very good. Now, though you're disappointed, your screen partner is conversely very enthusiastic. Now, young lady, you will say. Very intense! And then we cut to the story's 
next scene. <laughs> We're role playing right now. Mending the rails. But the days are long, and your endurance can't keep up. And you finally collapse in the endless expanse of the desert. Suddenly, sweet rain falls from the sky, wetting your lips and rousing your spirits. Now, Mr. Greyhair. What line will best express your surprise at this moment? You While we Pentacony, my Pentacony, you truly abound with opportunities. Just when we die of thirst, that perhaps we never, we were never meant to succeed. What? Oh my God, this is so terrible, but sure. But at this moment. Your partner yet gazes into the sky, both her eyes closed. The raindrops fall, blurring her vision, and she tragically says... Uh, perhaps we were never meant to succeed. Right? Fantastic! Both of you have an incredibly solid foundation in dialogue delivery. However, minds aren't everything in a performance. Please continue this story on the second stage. Up next, you'll be challenged with a body language test. Oh, here we go. These tests won't take too long. All right, let's see anything on these. Nope, not on this side. Audition promotion. Everyone has the potential to become a superstar. The next name that everyone in Pinnacony remembers, remembers could be yours. Hello, bird. Did I fall asleep again? How many times was this? Thanks for waking me, or I won't be able to complete my work again. Rest more. But I don't want to become a baddie birdie or give anyone trouble. Boss Red often tells me to rest too, but I've never seen him slack off. Unless there's a hack to get into the zone. I have to get him to beach me. So glad this program is brought to you by Soul Glad, our exclusive sponsor. So glad, the best choice for watching the edition. Okay. These. No, here as far as I can tell. All right, let's see the stage. Here. You two are required to skillfully utilize body language to portray the story context I've laid out for you. Picking up from where we left off, a heavy downpour saves you both stranded in the desert. This rain quenches the anger in your heart. You look to your companion, now completely devoid of fighting spirit, wanting to comfort her. Okay. At this moment, what should you do to make her laugh? This is body language, so I can't tell a dad joke. Had her head, stand up, and prepare to move out. Roll about in the sand. Probably this? If I want to make her laugh. Right answer. Your companion sees you rolling about in the sand and thinks about the arduous obstacles along this journey. She can't help but let loose a laugh, rekindling hope in her heart. And so this girl... I'm... gonna get back on my feet and keep moving forward. A tug at the heartstrings! The story continues to develop. The heavy rain leads you both to sense a business opportunity. So you start venturing into the umbrella industry. What? But just as the business begins to pick up, Competitors start flooding the market with low-priced goods, squeezing your market share. The story really changed. You have no choice. The goods you stockpiled at high prices have to be sold at a loss. This is a pretty self-destructive move, which drives your business to the brink of bankruptcy. At this moment, what would you, who refuses to admit defeat, decide to do? Leave dejectedly, get on my knees, and grow stand up and smack the table. Stand up and smack the table. 
you slam the table and rise up, they think you'll be they think you'll back down. Impossible. Dream chasers can be knocked down, but Fantastic. never knocked down. Fantastic. But it's a pity. Your friend does not agree. Seeing that you're up to your eyeballs in debt, she sees nothing but despair in her future. And then uh, I leave Pentaconi in utter disappointment. Is that okay? <gasps> of course! Absolutely! I was this close to tears! Both of you possess exceptional acting talent! I'm severely down doubting the validity of these judges. However, the true test is yet to come. You're about to encounter the harshest judge this show has ever seen. You'll need to rely on perfect performances if you want to win them over. Am I missing anything in this area? It's not. Hello, bird. The show is about. Wait! Oh, okay. I thought I already went into the judge's uh, range. My dear, is this a Dreamfield uh, place of opportunity? The Scorched Sand Wonderland that everyone's talking about? Those bad birdies must have duped us. Just look at this barren wasteland. Not even a pebble or a nest building to be found. I think. A minor setback is going to deter this brave birdie? Never. Oh, there, I simply can't stand this doubt run in life. I'm going back to the great... This is the story that we literally just did for the judges. No, please don't leave me alone. I want to leave with you. Full marks. I'm giving this full marks. Thank you for your praise. We'll keep working harder. Okay. Oh, wait. I can't get up. This side, there's a chest there, but we can't get it. Through. I don't think there's anything on the other side. All right, in we go. Welcome to the final stage. Actually, all the scenarios that you previously encountered were all from the film Once Upon a Time in Dreams. Two companions arrive on Panacone with nothing but a dream. Their desire for achievement is met with continuous setbacks. Ultimately, one continues on, despite spiraling into debt, while the other concedes defeat and leaves. Many years later, their paths cross once more in the thriving Pentacony. Yet, they refuse to acknowledge each other because... Hmm. I mean, it can go either way. I became a big shot, but she ended up destitute. I fell into poverty while she's leading a normal life. I'm leading a normal life, but she ended up destitute. I think I'm going to go with the second one. Against the backdrop of a revitalized Pentacony, the joy of reunion mixes with the sorrow of past separation. The awkwardness of being strangers, and the shyness of a long-awaited encounter, all converging at this very moment. Give it a shot. Try and convey this bittersweet scene to me. Bring it to life with precise and emotive acting. All right. Oh, this is never going to end. Wait, why? Oh, let's do it. Let's act. Ah, oh, come on. Strict judge. Your performance is far from satisfactory. 
Activate clockwork. Let's make her angry. Cut! A mogul who went from rags to riches, treating a former companion with such disdain. It just makes my blood boil. Huh? But we haven't even done anything. Is her imagination running wild again? Brilliant! Your portrayal outdoes the original. It's simply, simply, simply beautiful. Okay. Pass the test. We gotta hurry up. Stellaron uh, is at stake. I actually thought we had to do something a little more for that. I was gonna go through every single emotion to see what what stuck, but I guess either that was the right answer from the beginning. Or they had a passing grade for every single emotion. Stream four. Clean of old blades. TikTok. My pretty, you wish to speak? Oh, I have mesmerized many a pork box, but I didn't expect I would have charm over humans as well. I am so simple. My pretty, you're interesting. I can leave a slot open for you on that precious style of mine, but you mustn't not. Don't let me down. Okay. This one? Hmm. Oh. I need to think about this. A so, how do we bridge the gap where clock is right now? TikTok, I, I thought I'd be more popular if I spoke like this, but it just doesn't seem right. <laughs> TikTok, I'm sorry. Please don't look at me with those disdainful eyes. Alright, that's this part. Is this a movie reel? Ah, now it's music. Hello. Congrats to both of you for clearing the stage, but more importantly, are you having fun? <laughs> fun is more important than success. Is this the same voice actor for Dr. Ratio? Look at the time. You finished much faster than that red-haired contestant did. <laughs> that red-haired contestant? Who is that exactly? You'll find out eventually, but only if you clear the next test first. Welcome to the second stage of the 33rd Scorch Sand Festival in the 20th season, sponsored by Soul Glad Enterprises. Gunfire time! I swear I'm not hearing things. I just think this is the same voice actor. You have the option to choose gunfire and undergo Brother Hanu's trial, or time, where you'll face Clocky's trial. Now, make your choice. But we have no idea what the difference between the trials are. Time to launch ourselves in the pinball again. Let's go! Oh. Gunfire time trial. Wait, no. Ah, time trial or gunfire trial. Uh, let's go for the time trial. Dear friends, welcome to the wonderful world created by the Watchmaker. Oh, waiting overhead is the titular character from the beloved Clocky animation. Clocky! I don't think that's Clocky. It's said that the 
watchmaker dreamed up the idea of Clocky when he was just a boy. Back then, he was merely an apprentice in a clock shop. And one night, he dreamt that all the broken clocks started sprouting arms and legs. Like a skilled pilot, he steered them towards the right path. As a classic figure who grew up with many, Clocky truly shaped a generation, solidifying the watchmaker's pivotal role in popular culture. Contestants, may you have a wonderful time with Clocky. The trial of time. <laughs> I hope it won't waste too much of our time. Me? Eh? Stream four. We're about to deal with some really big existential dread. I can feel it. Hello, small ticker. Big talk. Why do you want to talk to me? Is it because you're a fan of mine? It's hard being last season's favorite best superstar. I can't get away from my fans' fervent passion, even if I disguise myself as a ticker. Big talk. Come shower me with your gift and board spa autograph. Okay. Oh no. Oh, this is gonna be something that's for sure. That took way longer than it should have. TikTok. Ah, I'm not a superstar, just the Sweet Dreams troop member working at the venue. I really envy those superstars. They must have led exciting lives since their conception. Unlike us, forever stuck in roles as mere tools. You finally got down from there. Thank you for saving my life. I never knew solving jigsaw puzzles could be a weight loss regimen. I didn't think it was that high when I was going up. My heart almost exploded when I realized, are you not, are you not afraid of heights when you're flying? Of course I am, which is why I've never flown. I climbed up with my claws. Oh boy. Goodbye. Please forget this 
Acrophobic Embarrassing Birdie. We got a chest out of that. Good. I wonder if this is the other time trial. It, it has to be, right? Well, it wouldn't be a time trial. It would be a gunfire trial. Wait, what is happening? Stream four. The gleam. Oh, oh no. Okay. Let's see where we reach now. Base anchors activated. Okay. Let me see what we did. We didn't explore much. I'll come back. Let's deal with this first. Okay. That's the... Length of what we're gonna be able to find. Why is there one here? Oh, I see. Rotate. And we. It's gonna go back. Okay, stop the dream module. Oh, I. Oh. What about this one? Yes, there we go. Much more sense. Take this. Eh. What are we going to find on this side? This one, okay. Oh, there are more down here. Okay. There we go. Might make much more sense like this. Right. I think this one would fit. Ah, this is gonna be the chest head. This, this, and over here. I'm gonna have the red carpet. This is the carpet, and this is the last. Piece. Perfect. I just got a chest out of this. I feel like I'm missing something around here. Can I climb? Nope. And I can't open this. I need to find the way on that side.
this one, same thing. Already been on that side. Oh! Completely missed this one. Am I back at the yes I am. Okay. Let's take a let's take a bird's eye view of this. So I've been over there, I've been there, all the way behind that building. How does one get to the... Those heroid vehicles? I don't think the rotation is going to work. Nothing is going to go somewhere over there. It's going to allow me to move there. That thing is going to allow me to rotate. No, I think that there's another way to get there. All right. Thank you. Oh no. Hello, I'd like to play Dreamscape Picker. So this stage is requiring us to cure this thing with a whole therapy session now. We've got an urgent matter to attend to can you please let us pass already? Yeah, we need to do the therapy session. Talk about a depressive state. Plot thickens. Help! I can also see him. Is this character part of the show? In Dreamville, Clocky is everywhere and can do anything. Like right now, I could solve this problem with your big ticker pound, Tick Tock. I can't believe it's actually Clocky. Why would you come and visit a failure of a clock like me for no reason? You see. We're all clocks. We're family. I want to help you be happy. Tell your pal Clocky what's troubling you. I, I came across a startling revelation yesterday. Apparently, Dreamscape Ticker isn't the same as Clocky at all. It's just a discarded prototype from Clocky's early development. Please, just leave me be, Clocky. I just don't know how to face you, because I'm just a failure. Oh dear, seeing it like this is uh, utterly heart-wrenching. <laughs> but fear not, we're here to help it rediscover the missing parts of its inner self and guide it out of despair. All right, how do we do that? Troop members can experience existential crises. I told you, I told you we're gonna find him in an existential crisis. Don't worry, miss. I've already pinpointed its missing parts. Over here, my friends. Better use that hamster ball by speed. Oh, hello. This must be one of the missing parts that Big Tinker needs. That's great. We're here. There's a missing part on the opposite side. But how do we get over there? There's a dream I left here by a dream leader. We're running out of time. We'll have to use it if necessary. Hey, okay, let's go. And boom. 
we should be able to reach the two pieces on the side since we completed the puzzle earlier. Uh, oh. Help! Help! Sweet! I'm Sweet! Oh, you're the Sweet! tail. Do I hear someone calling out for help? All right, let's help. Those are gumball machines. I weep for the departed. Every petal and all will be swept away by the wind. Eternal. Eternal slip and return. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Hope we didn't kill the bird along with the Another Oh, there we go. You look fine. Understand what that means. We've gathered all the missing parts. Let's hurry back. We don't want to keep Big Ticker waiting. Are we sure we don't know how to get there? I'm still thinking about this. It looks like this gate opens from the other side. back. Hey there, big guy. As long as you have these, you'll be able to find closure. Tick tock. Wow! This sudden surge of joy! It's working! Tick tock! Next, we just need to enter its emoscape, help connect its pathways, and we're done! All right. So this one goes like this. This one spins. This one flips. Okay. That's one. Not 
There we go. What the heck? Does this come down to this? I'll have this clockwork. Alright. Uh, but this is gonna be the place. There we go. That's one. That's two. That should work. I'm never going to get tired of using that ability. Congratulations to both of you! Oh, you've overcome all obstacles and proven yourselves! But, uh, unfortunately, there is only one who can be Pentacoli's festive superstar. In the final stage, you will face the defending champion. If you fail, you will lose the opportunity to become the festive superstar. Welcome to the 33rd Scorch Sand Festival's third stage in the 20th season. Sponsored by Soul Glad Enterprises, Superstar Showdown. I'm not looking forward to facing him again. It's gonna be our gen B. I bet money. Wait, what do we have? Arena 1? Arena... Obviously, we're gonna start with Arena 1. Extraordinary. It is him. It is him. My great friend, it's truly an honor to meet you. Not even the stars in the sky can match your heroic valor. May we stand together to defend Dreamville's stones and branches. And so we can the same color. Behold, I'm the knight among birdie. The mighty championship. I have to defend the ice so bad, or all of it will be snatched up by the other guy. Okay, let's get this work over with. Jesus. Please wait, handsome gentleman. Beautiful miss. By the glorious light of beauty, I never thought I would see you again. In such turbulent times, your kind faces are as spring's gentle breeze, bringing solace to my scorched are heart. You a knight of beauty? But the red haired contestant was no longer. Will you be participating in the Germany Festival as well? You've already heard of my humble title elsewhere. I am deeply. Un no! We met! We met before! Upon hearing of the imp uh, impending festivities, I commanded the one and only to bring me to Pentacony with full haste. Alas, in a cosmos unguarded by the beauty, this order prevails. Thus my passage was delayed by tending to the sick and injured. Fortunately, the mini rabbit mech pilot... Wait, the mini rabbit mech pilot? 
What? The mini rapid mech pilot Stray Cat Duelist, Galactic Ninja, and Quad Drive and Intellitron, along with 32 other souls in distress, all emerged from their predicaments safe and sound. I then led them all here to revel in the harmony with the countless other splendid beings. Is this the beauty? It's dazzling. You, you're quite the savior, aren't you? I'm busy saving the world. You please make my... You know what? Fine. Is this the beauty? It's dazzling. I do not deserve such praise. Unfortunately, that dashing IPC ambassador, whose radiance matches that of a beautiful peacock, remains in a woeful state. How I wish he too could partake in this splendid occasion. Okay, let's get back to business. Since fate has brought us together, it stands to reason that you both seek the accolade of the addition's victor, correct? Though upon arrival I was once mistaken for a towering, silver-armored fugitive with fiery red flames, due to my lack of eloquence, it matters not. For all these trials stem from the land of dreams. What matters is that I now stand before you. Our paths have crossed. I, Argenti of the Knights of Beauty, am humbly requesting for a battle in the name of the Code of Chivalry with you both. If I am fortunate enough to emerge victorious, kindly grant me passage to the crown of victory and recognize that Idrilla, the beauty, is the most peerless of them all. Behold, this symbol of pure beauty. Don't get complacent. I'm sorry, it's not happening. <laughs> Stand still. Regust for bliss. The flesh wound. Existence is unity. I weep for the departed. It did not fall. Confess. Receive divinity. Put forth all your might. <laughs> Eternal slip. Return! Judge. Good times. Time to say bye. Oh, wrong button. It's just by the brain. Sad. Still water. Every petal in the hall will be swept away by the wind. You. Receive divinity. Don't worry, it's just May a well kill them all. Another journey just for a Phase two. Bear witness. To the duel commence. Eternal slip and dead return. All right. I weep for the departed. It is so far. Challenge. Stand still. <laughs> Say bye to breathing. Challenge. Confess. Put forth all your might. Free will, or was it still water? Let's go. That's enough. I have come to grasp the sincerity of. Too fast. Okay, I'm gonna run faster. Beautiful, beautiful, truly a captivating contest. It is through, it is through you that I realize to uphold the honor of Adrilla, I must further hone my skills. What a beautiful lesson indeed! Go forth, my dear friend, beautiful Miss. The audition's crown is yours to claim. I shall remain here, gazing from afar as you bask in the limelight, joining the audience in offering you the most heartfelt cheers and applause. We don't have much time. May fate allow us to meet again, Knight of Beauty. She's into roleplay. In that case, let's make our way to the end. Panacone's really thronging with talent. I hope we make it in time. Are you gonna say something? Go forth. The champion stage belongs to the both of you. Bask in the glory you deserve. Alright, on we go. Let's see what this finale has for us. Path of the Superstar.
Did we just get loaded into a bottle of Soul Glad? Yo! Oh boy, we're about to have an interview. Hey, where's Firefly's image? It's just me! Congratulations to the both of you on becoming the festive superstars of this year's Charmony Festival before entering the Grand Theater. Sunday. I, on behalf of the organizers, extend my sincere congratulations to you, wishing you joy under their radiance. You already worked with things out with the dream. All I get are sincere. Where are my stellar jades? Where are my stellar jades, Sunday? <laughs> Your endeavors are worthy of extra recognition, and I've taken steps to ensure that. However, this reward is not a material one, but rather the opportunity for an open and honest communication between us. Hey. As previously promised, my sister, Mr. Yang, and I have met with the Dream Master. We delved into the truth about Panacone and its Stellaron, and have come to a consensus. Wait, 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 wait. Is this okay? Is this actually filmed and broadcasted live? Is this all right to be talked about on live air? Both I and the Oak family cannot acquiesce to your request. Just as expected. Where's Walt? We acknowledge the perspective of you, nameless. Panacone does require change, but not as you propose. The planet of festivities cannot and will not revert to a place characterized by chaos, disorder, or anarchy. Through your journey of overcoming obstacles, you must have glimpsed the essence of that era. The vulnerable ruthlessly eliminated. Equality non-existent. Common folk living precarious lives, eking out a dreary existence. Ultimately, only heroes like yourselves manage to achieve success. But I would dare ask, if you did not possess the special status of having a Stellaron, and you were but an anonymous and frail member among the masses. Which Panacone would you prefer? A dystopia for the survival of the fittest? Or a sweet dream paradise for all? Hmm. I actually need to think about this. You did not possess the special status of having a stellar on, and you were but an anonymous and frail member among the masses. Which Panacone would you prefer? I mean, does our power stem? From the Stellaron itself?
I'm gonna go for the second option. A sweet dream paradise doesn't sound too bad. That's not the point. Don't let him mislead you. Hey, I'm just answering a question. Mr. Sunday, even if the members of the Oak family can't fully agree on what to do about the Stellaron, now's not exactly the time to be holding an extensive discourse about Penacony's past and future, is it? The Stellaron issue concerns the life and death of everyone on Penacony. If anyone has a better suggestion, the crew is more than willing to listen. Also, it'd be best to tell us the ins and outs of that meeting. This way, we'll at least know what Welt and Miss Robin are dealing with, and the reason why they failed to make our appointment. Ah, Navigator. That is precisely my intention. With all present, Let's begin by discussing the details of that meeting. Let's talk about our tribulations and choices, our ideals and beliefs, and our final course of action. The only path to take. All right. You mean to say that for the longest time, there have been scoundrels who would use this the Charmody Festival that I have bequeathed to the masses as a tool to realize their ambition? Indeed, Dream Master. Once the Charmony Festival begins, the Stellaron's powers, along with the song, will be broadcast across the entire planet of Penacony. And then everyone in their dreams will be unable to awaken. When did we find this out? This is indeed surprising to me. The dreamscape is maintained by the collective effort of the five families. If someone were to use the Charmony Festival to recklessly disseminate the power of the Stellaron, this individual must hold the position of great authority. Do you have any suspects? I'd like to ask. Did you really not know of the Stellaron's existence? Hmm. I would have never thought that this nameless would point the spear at me. Quite astonishing indeed. If I have offended, the Astral Express extends its sincere apologies. But the current circumstances are dire, and leave no room for meticulous inquiry. We're doing this out of concern for the Dreamscape's safety. So, if you could, please alleviate our concerns. Dream Master, it's just to prove that the Charmony Festival has nothing to do with the Stellaron. If we're being overly cautious, I will return to the stage to offer tribute in song. Just per the arrangement. Hmm. Sunday, Robin. I've watched you two grow up and know your dispositions like the back of my hand. Both of you, right now, can surely be lauded as their most devout advocates. I already know your resolve. The magnitude of this matter is enormous and cannot be taken lightly. Since Mr. Yang has asked with such earnestness, I will personally respond in kind. If there is a need, the entire Oak family will be mobilized to heed your call. Someday, might I ask you to beseech them to cast their light unto me and question me in their stead? So that no lies may be concealed. Okay. I will do as you command. Robin, could I, I trust, trust you to be present as a witness, to document the truth, and to proclaim my innocence, so that all slander may be utterly dispelled? I will do as you command. May thy will be carried out on earth, just as it is in the heavens. Oh, triple-faced soul, please sear his tongue and palms with a hot iron, so that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. Let us begin. There is nothing else to prepare. That was a quick transition. Understood. 
question. Have you devoted your life to your god, never worshipping other gods? Naturally. Do you love your god as you do yourself, always heeding their admonishments? Naturally. Have you strayed from the path expected by your god, betraying their name? Never. Have you ever been inordinate with your asks of your god? Coveting more than the foundation of the creation itself. Never. Then, a final question. Do you swear to fulfill all vows, past, present, and future? With the Eon as my witness, if I do not deliver on my words, or if I renege on my vows, may I be cursed in accordance with divine law. They have seen your faith, and have endorsed your faith. With this, it can be evidenced... Just a moment. What is it, Mr. Yang? I have another question I hope to have answered. To my understanding, the family's harmony and prosperity have never relied on so-called divine laws. The god you both mentioned. Are they truly Shive? Oh. Oh. Are you implying that they are. Oh. No. What is your answer, Sunday? Mr. Yang should know that those belonging to the family toil together as if they were king, embracing solidarity and unity under their light. All duplicity is laid bare before the harmony. Those are two different statements. Such a delicate and complex symphony. Which other god? could perfectly harmonize this, if not for the Great One, Shibe. And yet, you're still not answering the question. Perfectly harmonize it. Therein lies the problem. It isn't an outsider lurking in the shadows who changed the harmony, but a dissonance that has surreptitiously emerged from within this very symphony itself. In the distant past, there existed an eon. With one flick of the wrist, they crafted the laws of the cosmos. Their followers formed the Beyond the Sky Choir, spreading solemn and reverent hymns throughout the universe. Later, they fell. The route traversed by this eon clashed with the harmony, ultimately being absorbed and fused into it. The chorus that once reverberated across worlds fell silent. And when it echoed anew, it was transformed into the Hymn of Harmony. Interesting. Though an eon may perish, paths with no masters still linger. In the all-forgiving harmony, echoes of bygone dissonance may subtly arise. Mr. Yang, being overly astute can be a detriment. Especially when you find yourself alone. And without allies. Oh boy, here we go. Hmm. So this is how it is. For the sake of our grand cause, Sunday, please afford these two an opportunity to rest. What? Yep, I was right. He's a traitor. He's a traitor. I knew it. I called it. Sorry, Robin. It's just you. I did not wish for you to know this. It's a pity that things have turned out this way. So, this is the true reason I can't sing? The shadow that envelops Panacone is actually... We were never children of the Harmony. Our ideal paradise could not have been crafted by Shipe. True bliss can only be guaranteed by the one who transcends the many. 
Okay, who are you, sir? Within the foundation of law, humanity establishes civilization, and through harmony... Oh, the order is back! Order. The order is back. Unbelievable. To think that there would be remnants of the order on Panacone. What have you done with Mr. Yang and Miss Robin? Don't worry. I just gave them some time alone to ponder their fates. You should know that these actions make you an enemy of the Astral Express. And also gives me a good excuse to beat you senseless. Should we need to stand against the Nameless? It would only be myself and the Oak family involved. But we haven't reached that point yet, have we? Your efforts for the justice of Panacone are evident to everyone, and have been widely observed. So you want to talk terms? Smart kid. You're just as sharp as the other one. If it is the Order that drove you to imprison Welt and Robin, and you're using them to coerce our compliance, then there'll be no point in entertaining any type of discussion. You're mistaken, Miss Himiko. They are in very safe hands, and just as the family has always proclaimed, no one can be harmed in the dreamscape, least of all in the beautiful new world belonging to the Order. Panacone and the entire universe have witnessed far too much innocent bloodshed. The strong wield their blades against the weak, and the victors push the vanquished to the brink of life. Natural selection. The world abides by this principle, establishing the well-being of humanity atop the corpses of the downtrodden. Only we, or rather, I, possess the power to put an end to this farce. Are we maybe getting... Nah, I doubt it. I'd like to believe we're getting new paths for characters, but I think this is just flavor text. So you've decided to resurrect a dead Eon? No one's ever done such a thing. I mean, if this is possible, can't we bring back Akbili? If Miss Himiko is interested, let's draw back the veil and speak candidly. I've always firmly believed that people can understand one another through peaceful means. I'm willing to divulge the unembellished truth as to the intentions of the Order's paths, Riders. So that you will make better judgment for the Astral Express, for Panacone, and for this stretch of the universe. Words can hardly do justice to the beauty of that ideal. So, come with me, everyone. Let us retrace our steps, and see once again where this road leads. <laughs> 